Hey friends, welcome back to Home Bar out at Neumunster Abbey in Luxembourg. Really beautiful here. So let's head down. Okay guys, so we are going in for the ab series now. We're gonna be using a ball the whole time. If you don't have a ball, maybe a yoga block, uh, a pillow, or you can do everything without the ball. This just kind of helps stabilize the hips and also gets the inner thighs burning a little more. All right, so ball goes in between the shins here, feet parallel, so toes pointing forward, and then you're just gonna roll it down. So let's find our neutral spine first. So take those um, hands like in this triangle shape, and then you're gonna bring the heels of the hands to the hip bone, the fingertips to the pubic bone, and then just begin a little pelvic tilt and then really arch through the back and then just move through this motion. So what we want to eventually find is making that movement smaller and smaller until you put like a contractor's leveler, you know, with the water bubble, it would be directly in the center because we've got that nice neutral spine. Okay, and then squeeze those abs in. Now from here, we're just gonna begin with upper ab crunch. So you're gonna take the hands behind the head, neck and shoulders. You're gonna exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, Shh. exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Eight more here, seven. Just warming up those abs. Make sure that you're not here. The elbows are staying wide. Three, two, one. Now let's reach those arms forward and then just try to lift a little higher. Exhale, exhale, Shh. Shh. Eight more like this. So still neutral spine, yeah? So a little space between your lower back and the mat. Four, three, two, hold this curl, hold those abs in. You're just gonna reach to one ankle and the other. So now it's a lateral flexion move. Shh, shh. Keep exhaling every time you reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, roll it on down. Arms just slightly pressing into the mat as well as the shoulders. Roll your head right and left so you get a little tension out of the neck. Now, keeping that neutral spine, squeeze those abs in, lift your legs up to tabletop. So still, you would be able to slide that hand underneath your lower back, so neutral spine. Now, you're going to, again, lift those head, neck, and shoulders up for that ab prep motion. You're gonna lower the ball down. Shh, exhale, in, lower, and in and lower and in. So at no point does that lower back press into the mat. You're keeping the abs in so strong. And lower and in. If you need to modify today, head down, no problem. Okay, we're gonna advance this a little. You ready? You're gonna reach the arms, extend the legs, double leg reach, Whoo! feel the shake. Exhale in, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Adding on one more element to make it a little harder. As you reach, hold, squeeze, squeeze into the ball. In, squeeze, squeeze. Out, squeeze, squeeze. In, squeeze, squeeze. Out, squeeze, squeeze. In, squeeze, squeeze. Two more. Awesome. Let's give that neck a rest, huh? So now arms long by your side. Again, just take that little roll right and left like you're saying no to release the tension out of the neck. Lightly press the arms and the hands, the shoulders into the mat. Legs now come all the way up. So just beginning with getting into the inner thighs. So squeeze into the ball, release. Squeeze, release. Still neutral spine, abs engaged. Four, three, Two, now we're gonna lower the legs down, nice and slow. And then exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Keep squeezing into the ball. And exhale, lift. One more, keep the neutral spine. 
Okay, now we're gonna combo all that. So you're gonna take a squeeze, squeeze, lower the leg and squeeze, squeeze, exhale, lift the leg. Squeeze, squeeze, lower the leg. Squeeze, squeeze, lift the leg. Super hard, yeah? Stay in there. Shh, shh. All right, almost there. Shh, shh. Let's just do one more. Just hold it here. Reach those arms forward. Whole body is shaking. Holy moly. <laughs> Good. And release it. Okay. So cool, we did a little upper ab, we did a little lower ab. Now let's go to the side obliques. So what you're gonna do is you can take this right foot down. You're gonna keep this left foot up. You're gonna press that ball into the thigh. Now you're gonna take opposite elbow pressing in. So then you're in this little twist. So we're gonna begin here. You're just gonna exhale, lift, press the elbow in, lift your torso up a little and lower, lift and lower. Keep those abs in. Now, this is option one. If you would like to advance with me, you're now gonna extend that bottom leg, hovering above, squeeze and in, squeeze and in, squeeze and in, four, four, stay strong, three, two, and then just take it a little faster, squeeze up, lift up, lift up, lift up, four, four, three, two, one, good. We go to the other side. So ball to the thigh. First, just beginning with that foot on the mat. Take the hands behind the head, neck and shoulders. We squeeze up and in, in and release. In, release, four, four, three, two. Stay here or if you want to advance it now, you hover and extend that bottom leg. Squeeze and out, squeeze and out, Whew. four more, three, two, and then we just increase the tempo, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, set your head down. Now, the grand finale, it's a little, this one takes a while, it's kind of like the whole patting your head and circling your hand on the stomach in the beginning. And then once you get it, you get it. So I'm gonna try to explain it well. Maybe you get it, if not eventually. So you take the ball to that thigh where we started, yeah? You take the elbow there, you extend the leg, right? So what you're gonna do is take a lift. You bring both of the legs, both of the elbows together, and then you just roll that ball to the other side, lift and in. Now when I explain it, it seems really simple. Somehow when I learned it, I was like, what is happening? So maybe he were <laughs> a little faster than me. But it's nice because you just flow through this movement. It's like this single leg reach crisscross, but we get deeper into it because we're pressing that elbow into the ball. This properly helps advance the series. Let's do four more. Three two, and last one. Awesome, let's take a stretch. So reach the arms up overhead, reach through the toes. Okay, so last but not least, we do the bottoms up. And you're gonna place the ball in between the inner thighs. Now I'm gonna admit, I'm in public. This is kind of a weird one to do in public when you think about it. So let's hope, maybe there's gonna be a big crowd watching me, let's, let's find out in the privacy of your own home. You shouldn't feel weird though. All right, so you're gonna have your arms long by your side. You're gonna just squeeze the glutes up and then you're just gonna squeeze into the inner thigh and release. So you're squeezing into the ball, buns are activated. Still a bit of the mid back is on that mat here today. So it's not like the yoga bridge where we really come up into this big full extension because we're working more in the booty. Two. One, now hold it here. This is where it's a little weird in public for me, but whatever. Squeeze the glutes and you just take this little lift and pelvic tilt. Ooh, that was a scary bird. That was really close. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna combo. So you're gonna lift the seat, squeeze the ball. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. 
it's entertaining working out in public. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna hold it here. If you do have that ball, you're gonna extend one leg. Try to really stay strong in this butt and that thigh and you just squeeze the ball in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set it down, extend the other leg, lift up a little higher, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, squeeze into the ball again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Almost there. Now, keeping everything stable here, you're gonna reach those arms up overhead. Let the shoulders come up a little here. Rib cage arms, reach it up and forward. And up and forward. Really nice and healthy for those shoulders here while also working the inner thighs, working the glutes, working the quadriceps. And three, and two, one. All right, here we go for the end. Press those arms in, you just squeeze and tap. Squeeze and tap. Make sure you're still squeezing into the ball. This is it. Four, three, two, and last one. Good, release that ball. Let's take a figure four stretch. So take right shin over that left thigh, maintain neutral spine. Just put that ball wherever and just pull this in. Flex those feet, roll out the ankles a little. Cool, and then take it to the other side. Ball just goes wherever. I don't want it to roll into the river, <laughs> so I will just hold it here. So grab a hold from the back of the thigh, neutral spine. One more inhale. And exhale out. Good, all right. And then we're gonna roll it up for a half butterfly stretch to stretch out those hamstrings. Okay, I think it's secure. So the butterfly, you bring both feet together, the knees wide, so you're just gonna do one. So extend the right leg, left foot comes in, knee to the side, flex that foot, inhale, arms up. And have that ball in case, exhale, fold. So what you can do here today, if you cannot reach that foot without really rounding through the spine, we wanna keep it straight here. So if you can't reach the toes like I'm doing here, you can maybe use that ball today bring it a little closer, and then you can really just press into it and maintain that straight spine. Yes. And then take it to the other side. Foot comes in, knee goes to the side. You can either just reach for those toes or just press the hands into the ball. Good, one more inhale. Exhale out. Yes, and then for the end, let's do a wide split stretch. So if you're really flexy, maybe you can go down far. I'm not super flexible in this full split, but we're gonna use that ball to assist us today. So just take the hands onto the ball. We're gonna turn the legs out, point the toes, and then just Keep rolling that ball forward. Let those fingertips just press into the ball, relax the shoulders. And we're gonna hold this for at least 30 seconds so we can really let those muscles lengthen. If you're really flexy, um, I have a friend who can get herself all the way down. If you're almost there, maybe you rest your forehead on the ball. So you just do you today. All right, let's give it about 10 more seconds. So deep inhale in. Exhale out. One more inhale in. And exhale out. Roll it up through the spine now. Just take a little wiggle of your legs. 
and come to seated. Cool, just take that ball into your seat and then we'll just end with our breath. So inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale out. One more inhale in. And exhale out. Awesome, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that was a challenging series. And also you got some really nice, beautiful scenery in. See you back here soon. All right, so if you want to get the full length version of that class where we work more the arms, the thighs, and the glutes a little more, head over to my Patreon page, become a patron, and you can get access to that class plus other full length classes.